everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 246. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, featuring news and reviews about designer vinyl, plush, action figures, uh, collectibles, events, how-tos, interviews, and pretty much everything else in said wonderful world of toys. So let's start, as we usually do, by thanking our site sponsors like Mr. Toast, 3D Retro, Paysaber, Grumpy Bird, Tomonosuke, Happy Panda Toys, Button Lab, Art Attack Toys, Dragatomi, Tenacious Toys, Puppet Heap, Puppet Heap, a world of stories on your hand, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, ESC Toy, ESC Toy, more art than toy, Superpower Collectibles, and of course, last but not least, DKE Toys. And we would also like to thank a few people for donations. Thank you, thank you so much to Adam from Japan, Squire from Kentucky, James from Louisiana, and James from Texas. Boom. Thank you so much. All of your dollars is help keep the lights on, help Toy Break come to you every week. Uh, just help thank you so Help turn the map much. purple. Help turn the map. No new states hmm. this week, but... Maybe they get a little darker purple at this point. Can you call somebody out, like call, call out a state and maybe... What state do we have left? I don't up. know. Um, there's a lot of states left. There's like, I think like Idaho. Do we have anyone in Wisconsin yet? Ooh, I don't think so. All right, Wisconsin. This is your week. <laughs> Someone in Wisconsin. One dollar. That's all it takes. <laughs> Color it in. If we already have Wisconsin, Idaho. You're up. <laughs> Not in alphabetical order. I'm wondering, do we have a contest going on? We do. The Sick Circus Contest. You can win a whole set of six circus figures, courtesy of their creator, Mr. Dandy, by simply heading over to the forum at toybreak.com and posting which sick circus figure is your favorite in the contest section. Deadline is January 30th. Awesome. Thank you, George. And thank you, Mr. Dandy. I, say, I didn't do anything. You, you told us all about the beautiful contest that's going on right now. True. Thank you. Thank you. So let's jump right into some reviews. No. Agent K Dunny. <laughs> this is by Arson and Kid Robot. It is a three inch Dunny. It was released at New York Comic Con last year in October. Uh, we have not reviewed it, but we did show it. We pulled it out we on We did our, show it, but you said you uh, wanted to bring it back for review. So. Yeah, it needs its own episode or it needs its own review. So this was uh, this limited happening. to 1,200 pieces. They sold out at New York Comic Con. There was a Good job. line around the corner for it. It went crazy, it went fast. Um, luckily, Arson was kind enough to make sure that we got one. Thank you. So, thank you very much. And uh, if you don't know his work, go check out his regular customs and stuff. I'm sure this is going to be just as cool, but his customs are amazing. Yes. And the work that he puts into them, between sculpting and painting, they're out of control. I bet it's going to look like the box. Oh, right it comes here. with something. What's it come with? No sticker or card. Was there one in the box? No. So, that's different than, the, than sometimes when they do dunnies. But maybe because it was a special release. Well, because release. this isn't uh, a blind box dunny. Right, you know what you're getting in it. Not that that even really makes a difference. Look, he comes a with difference. a ray gun. <gasps> Aww. He's got a cute little black ray gun. Why is it? Why is it? That's an African American ray gun. So, uh, much like his customs, this is a sculpted piece, and it's a whole new, you know, it's That's a whole new cool. dunny head like they do sometimes. Um, really awesome looking head too. Now, I wonder if he did the sculpting and gave him a master, or if they did... We should have asked him that. If they did um, the sculpting <laughs> somewhere, like in China or something. Um, so, if you know, call in. And, uh, 818, am I good? 818, am I good? There you go. <laughs> the, the detail's great. The paint's really clean on this one. The paint is really tight. Like, all the little white dashes. Yeah, everything's lined up really seams. nice. Sorry, there seems. Um a little chunk of somebody's fingerprint on there but that's fine these teeth are awesome of course you know stylistically that's his thing they very much remind me of the max yeah i could see that right yeah it's cool ah, little skull on the back you could totally make a cool little max dunny out here but Except then why would you want to paint over you wouldn't want to paint over it well no but if they ever used that head for something else there you go so that's pretty cool it um, is cool. You could probably find them on eBay, I would guess, or maybe hit up the Kid Robot forum and see if anyone's trading one out. But Or our forum. Or our forum. At toybreak.com. I haven't seen one on there, but somebody might be. You never know what people are hoarding. That's true. 
So pick one of these up if you can. If not, go support Arson in some of his customs or some of his other work. Speaking of Kid Robot, did you hear? Nope. <laughs> nope, he did not hear uh, that Kid Robot London is closing. Really? At the end of the month. I did I not believe. hear that. And actually, we had a Toy Break viewer, Stuart, sent in. He started a petition to keep the store open. Unfortunately, I support you in your efforts, Stuart, but it's not going to happen. I do. I mean, I want. I hope. I wish it would stay open, but here's how. That's here's what you need instead of a petition. Just... You need to go in and buy shit because <laughs> <laughs> petition doesn't give them any money in their pocket. If people were flooding the store and buying stuff, they obviously wouldn't need to close it. There's obviously not enough people or, buying stuff in their store. See, I don't know. I don't know any of the details. This is all speculation, but maybe there's enough retailers around there that they're trying. They said something about spreading out their European sales over different stores, so they didn't want one central location. I, I don't know how something like that, but maybe it's just not financially. Right. Like it just doesn't make financial sense to keep one, that store open. And okay. I understand that. I mean, we've been to Kid Robot events out here that. You know, yeah, ten, I mean, everybody carries Kid Robot stuff, like all the other shops, so like they don't need to have their own shop if everyone else is carrying their stuff already. So, But that is sad. It is sad to see any toy store go. True. So, sorry for Kid Robot LA. Um, we'll, we'll put a link up to that. To Stuart's Kid Robot petition LA now. or London? I'm sorry, Kid Robot London. Ooh, Kid Robot London. Uh, we will put a link up to Stuart's petition, though, in case you want to jump on board with that. But, arson. Awesome. 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 It's officially awesome. <laughs> All right. Arsome. Next up, <laughs> TMNT Universal Audio Speaker. Now. Universal? What? It's universal because it's a speaker and it plugs into anything with a headphone <laughs> jack. Like, so it's just a speaker? It's just a speaker. And it's barely that. But it sounds fancy. Uh, when I saw this in the store, it was the only one left. They had all been sold. And it, so I had to get Leo because I wasn't going to wait and get another one later. Apparently they only make two of them. I saw Don. Leo and Donatello. I was going to say, I would have rather had the Don, but those I was like... The, as far as I've seen, those are the only two. I'll just get this one because it's here. Um, no Michelangelo, I'm out. Guess what? It says high quality stereo sound. I can't wait to find out. And if you've seen me, seen the post on the forum that I made about this... I feel some like some sarcasm. I've already tried to warn everybody about this I'm speaker. sensing a lot of sarcasm. So... I mean, it's a it's a eleven ninety nine. You can't expect a great deal from an eleven ninety nine product. Um, it does have a cord. It comes with a cord that you oh, can good. plug it's in and charge. Seven inches. Your USB. Plug it into your computer and charge it. Um, and it also comes with the cord to plug into your headphones. Do you have a? I do. Before we play the music, what do we think about? I, well, I, <clears throat> the figure. I love the design. That's why I was like, I don't mind picking one up anyway because it's a cute sculpt. The like. I don't know. It just looks neat. Right away when you open it, it you looks feel... neat. That's our professional review. Well, what do you think? Do you like the design? It's too shiny, but I like the style. I like the I like the little hard edges it has. I like the style of it. The paint is kind of crappy. You could see it when you buy it. It's already crappy. What I didn't notice is that the whole thing was gonna feel like it's falling apart right coming from out the box. Yeah. Oh wait, did you mention that it's got a? I'm taking this off the box, everyone. Quote. Cool keychain attached. This is cool, huh? On the on the front. Oh, it does have a cool keychain. By cool, they mean regular silver keychain. No, to the touch. It's cooler than the figure. Oh, temperature cool. I didn't understand. That was my fault. I did not understand. Well, here, you know what? I've already done this once, so I'm going to let you do this because I want I'm you to judge. Okay. Also, I was not prepared with a music selection, so who knows what's going to happen. Oh, good. Here we go again. Some oldies. You know what? Let's play some John Fogarty. Fogarty? Is that even a thing? <laughs> um, so, so you plug you that have... in. Yeah, I'm getting it. How's that feel when you plug that in? Um, it feels like a cheap... Oh, it's tight. It's a tight hole. Right there. That switch is at a very awkward location behind the shell. Okay, came on. Did it come on? Hopefully it's charged. I, I turn I turn it on. I don't. Can you tell if it's on? Is there a light? I hear noises, so something's happening. I I don't ever listen to music on here. I don't know how to make. Oh, that sounds great. What's happening? That sounds really good. It's playing. Wait, let's. 
Let's make sure. Oh, 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 wait. That could be my thing, not doing it. That that could be me. Technical malfunction. No, there we go. no I got this. I got it. It's on now. It's on. Sure? Yeah. Alright. That was my fault. <laughs> I'm on I, the edge of so, my seat. Some of us had our phones muted while we were filming. Sounds pretty good so far. Alright. No, it sounds crappy so far. Plug it back in. Okay, wait. Let's just make sure. Okay. Music is playing. Okay. Oh, you got it. Yeah, that's one of the things. Sounds like it's in a bathroom. It's in. It's recorded in a bathroom about three miles away. What the heck? Yeah, they play again. It doesn't sound that bad. No, this does. I'm just saying the song does like... Okay, let's, maybe it's the song. Maybe we need to no, try... No, it's not. It's the maybe speaker. Maybe we need... A different song. Um, Maybe we need a different speaker. That's probably the situation. You can't even hear the, the voice. T-Pain, where are you? It's the turtle that ate T-Pain. Terrible. Let's just, once again, listen to that. Here's just straight off my phone. Yeah. This thing is a piece of garbage. Whoa. So. Why did it sound so bad? All that, all that minutes spent on this tiny thing of garbage. <laughs> uh, if you're going to get this, don't expect to play any music on it. It is a pile of crap. Don't expect to actually um, use the product. I don't know what to say other than this is a piece of shit. Don't buy it. Um, oh, unless you were just looking for a cute little figure that you could maybe clip off this little ring on the top and just have a cute little turtle. Why would they put shelf. a keychain on there? Like, who's going to carry around a three and a half inch piece of plastic on their keychain like that? So that you can have it on your like, belt while you're listening to but your look music. At how much, like, it's that much bigger than a dunny, even. Like, it's way too big for a keychain or a belt. Maybe because they knew that it sucked as a speaker and a they backpack. thought maybe somebody could put it on something. I don't know. It's pretty terrible, but it is a cute little figure if you just want to have a figure, but it is eleven ninety nine. So you're willing to put it on your desk for non articulated just to yeah, I mean, obviously sit I'm, on your desk. I'm figure. not gonna return it because it was you know because it was eleven ninety nine. And you feel embarrassed because you're like, Yeah, I bought this and it's stupid. But uh, I'm saving you the hassle of feeling embarrassed because this is a pile of crap. Do not buy this. Don't even buy it just to put it on your desk unless they go on clearance, which they will, and get it for like two ninety nine. But don't expect to play music on it. It's garbage. That was really terrible. And, like, you have to, like, fiddle with the speaker, like, the plug, just to get it at the right. Yeah, that... Like, it plugs in too useless. far to work, so you have to pull it out just a little bit, and then, I don't know, it's a piece of crap. The whole thing. There's several awesome turtle toys that have come out of the, the turtle renaissance recently on Nickelodeon. This goodness. just is not one of them. Whoa, I can see the innards. Yeah, it's just garbage. Alright, All right, let's not talk Enough about that. Let's never look at that again. Let's look at something, I don't know, fun like Blind Box. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind Box time! <laughs> oh, okay. So today we dove deep into the trove. Uh, we went back a few years because Whoa. these things have been sitting. That's the going back in For fear. quite some time. <laughs> uh, these have been sitting there waiting Sometimes to be opened. Sometimes we have things. There's, that closet goes deep. And it is the stock of old crap you that we have trove. to get to some point. The trove. Um, so these are Death from Above, Whoa. IWG Airborne Whoa. zipper pulls. Nice. Speaking of keychains. Awesome things to put on your stuff. Um, there's no pictures of what's inside, and I don't remember because it's been a long time since we opened these. So let's just get into it. All right. Well, you know they're going to be zipper pulls. We do know that. Uh, mine's awesome. Oh, it's not a zipper pull. Oh, it's oh. even better. Oh! Oh! Awesome! Oh, it turned into a good surprise. These are Death From Above Parachutes. Death From Above. 
Sweet. So I got the little gorilla dude. Who'd you get? I got a rhino. Mine's better because mine's a gorilla. So here's the parachute with oh. the IWG logo on it. I haven't played with one of these in like a couple years. Oh, mine's all tangled over here. Ah! Oh, I so, wish we had more room to throw these up. I wish we had vaulted ceilings in the studio. Oh. It worked. Oh. It works. <laughs> oh, these are awesome. Maybe you can find these somewhere still. Oh, he got all tangled up in it. Look at him holding on with his little hands. Well, what else would he hold on with? His little horn? Oh, his head pops right off. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to do that. So you guys have all played with parachute men before, right? Oh. Probably need a little more room to, to play with this, but what a fun, awesome thing. I didn't know that was going to be in there. Well, I thought they were great. zipper pulls. I thought they were too. That's even better than what I thought. I don't remember how much these were. We got them at the store when we went to an art show one time. Yeah, that they was They were a, a while couple ago. bucks. It was a long time ago. Uh, speaking of a long time ago, this Rocket is also World. from Rocket World, so I'm just going to bring it out during our blind box segment. Um, I don't even know if they're still at the same place in San Francisco where they used to be. Um, but you can go to rocketworld.org. This was the Armored Hunter spacesuit. Um, I love these figures. So he comes with... This was $13.95 when I bought it. I have no idea what it goes for now. It's a little monkey in a spacesuit. Comes with a ray gun. So is this like Tim Burton's Planet of the, Planet of the Apes version? Yes, there you go. And, and a little classic skull. little skull. That they all, a lot of them used to come with, so. He has this really cute, like, round, bubbly, cartoony aesthetic. This is super old. Like, this has been sitting in the closet for quite some time. But it's still awesome. Just because something's older doesn't mean it's not awesome. So you might still be able to find this around, I don't know. Check out Rocket World. You could probably get them there. It's got a cute little backpack. It does. Are paint's those articulate? Kinda, oh, paint's no. kind of clunky, but I mean, it's got a real retro it's feel fine, to yeah. it. Yeah, and it looks awesome. It's just a it's cool got like, little... like the top, the helmet is kind of got a cloudy air to it. Which, on one hand, you could be like, oh, it's crappy. It looks like cloudy. But on the other hand, it looks really retro to me, like a old '60s toy. Well, it is old now. It's been in here for quite some years. Or an old. So now we're finally opening it up. I don't even know what year this came out. A while ago. Before now. True. So, you might be able to find these in some places, and maybe even find some of these little guys. Yay! Oh, he's awesome with his little... Isn't oh, he see, cute? he's a one-piece. I don't think his head... No, his head is separate. Oh, it's head just separate. actually attached. It's glued on correctly. Cool. Stop ripping things apart. These are cool just for their little dudes. I w they should have just released a bunch of these little guys. Look, his parachute's supposed to be hooked to the holes in there. Oh, that's funny. In his parachute in his... pack, but he's holding on instead, like it fell off. Yeah. He's hardcore. These are awesome. All right, well, you might be tired of listening to us talk, so... No, I am. Let's check in with one of our toy breakers. We had a viewer send in a review. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is uh, the Alien Kubrick's review by Thomas, a.k.a. Smoke Tetsu on the forum. Cool. So take it away, Thomas. Hello, Toy Break. This is Thomas from New Mexico, also known as Smoke Tetsu on the forums. Today I wanted to talk about the Alien Kubricks I re recently received from a seller on eBay. I got Ripley, uh, Captain Dallas, Lambert, and Kane. They, they, they resemble to me more like the Playmobil or the uh, Lego figures a little bit more than the Mezits do. And with the, especially with the Ripley figure, it kind of works a little better for me uh, than the figure that they included with the Aliens Mezits. still have two more Alien Kubrick figures coming in, which I'm hoping will be different than these ones, but I'm not absolutely sure because Unlike these ones where I ordered them exactly knowing what I was getting, I, I ordered the, um, the, those other two from Amazon blind boxed. So, but I'm hoping that I'll get the, the Xenomorph uh, so that I can have it next to the, alien, the Mezitz version. Uh, although I already know that, uh, for example, that the, uh, the paint on the Kubrick 
uh, particularly on the teeth, looks a little neater than the paint on the Mezitz figure. And of course, there's the other differences, like the more boxier legs. Although, um, there another interesting thing about these figures compared to the the Mezitz is that uh, some the fe some features that are more stylized on the Mezitz are actually more sculpted on the Kubricks and vice versa. Like the for Ripley's uh, figure, her hands have the little claw-like stylized hands, uh, and uh, the uh, uh, the Nostromo astronauts have these uh, sculpted gloves. But on the on the Mezitz, they all have those round Lego style hands. Although the alien is a little bit more sculpted than the uh, than the cane figure. The thing that I noticed about the Kubricks in particular compared to the Mezitz is the lamps look a little bit more fragile on the top of their heads. The Mezitz turn around so that you can see the face huggered face, but with the uh, the Kubricks, the the face hugger is just pasted onto uh, Kane's face, and he has a pained facial expression underneath. But that's to, that's still cool in its own way. I like how the Ripley figure came with um, her carrying pet carrier for Jones, although you can't really tell if there's a anything inside, although the um, the little window is kind of semi-translucent, but it's still a nice little accessory for Ripley. I have to admit I have more of a soft spot for alien merchandise than for aliens because I like the style, the art style of alien a little bit more than I like the art style of alien. To conclude, I like both of these almost equally, although I give the edge more to the alien Kubricks simply for the style that they have. Although I like the the more rustic coloring of the uh, of the Mezitz a little bit more, but overall I think they both go very well together, especially on the shelf. So that was my first video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Toy break. Until next time, Smoke Tetsu out. Boom. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Thomas. Smoke Tetsu. That was really cool. Um, I, I love it when viewers send in reviews. And Me we too. We don't have to do work. <laughs> One day we'll have an all-reviewer episode where we just introduce videos. I don't love that it's that we don't have to do work. I love that it gives us a perspective on toys that maybe we don't have. Or yeah, we, just we don't have any of those toys. Come across those. Like uh, every, There's so many things out there to collect and so many things to... Wonderful toys to get your grubby little hands on that we do our best, but we can't bring it all to you. So help us out. Send in a review just like Thomas did. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yes. And then on to one more review We have one us. more thing. This is the Mars Attacks Martian Commander. It's speaking by Mezco. Of, speaking of old toys. Uh, well, not really old. It's old and new. It's like 2000s. Oh, no, it is new. This just came out. I thought there was another one in 2007. There may have been, but this just came out. Go ahead. Uh, it's based on the top trading cards, not the movie. Baboom. And it's uh, around $20. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Baboom, huh? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so we don't care they about... They recently re-released the top trading cards... Um, which is probably why. Maybe it was for, is there an anniversary or something of this? Well, I wonder. 50 years. Holy crap, it's been 50 years since that stuff the started? The things you can learn on the package alone. So in case you don't know what we're talking about, Topps released these Mars Attacks trading cards, and trading cards are awesome. So it existed before the Tim Burton movie. Some people may not know. I think people knew that. Does Some anybody people? not know that? Raise your hand. Oh, you didn't. Okay. So far, I don't have anything to say on the packaging. So far, a lot of twist ties. So far, a lot of twist ties. Is it's it, also weird. Is it that really they... necessary to have five twist ties? Yes. Because then you can make little twist tie guys. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. So I was going to say a funny thing that they have to mention, because they have to say, you know, oh, it's based on the cards, not the movie, obviously for licensing rights, right. or for licensing reasons. But, I mean, Tim Burton's movie looks quite a bit like the cards, especially the, the alien characters. 
Yeah, I mean, there's definitely similarities. So if you're, articulation in this too. but if you're a fan of the movie, I think you would enjoy these just as much as if you were only a fan of the cards. Chances are, though, if you're a fan of the movie, you're probably a fan of the cards too. You know, the original art that this all was based on, which is what is on the cards. Probably, probably. Look at his brain. That's awesome. A lot of really nice sculpting. Does it say who did any of the work standing. on this? I did not think he was going to stand on those little stick legs. A lot of but times Mesco puts who did it on there, but it's not on this one. Oh. He smells like a toy store, like a really good soft plastic scent from a toy store. Oh, it smells like it just smells like plastic to me. So he comes with three different guns by the looks of this here. Tell us about the guns. Is this a gun or is this a like... Oh, no, that's a... Hold on. A little that's called something. Orb ray. Or it's something. a ray stick. There you go. Blaster, rifle, and ray stick. Again, look what you can learn by reading the package. Blaster, rifle, ray, ray stick. stick. How does he hold that's the ray, ray stick? stick. <laughs> How does he hold the ray stick? Uh, with his hand. Maybe it just sits on the ground. No, hold it. Looks like a gun handle down there. Like this? No. Just put the guns in his hand. So you've got a ray stick that we're not sure how you put it in his hand. That's cool. We'll have to check the art. Check the card art. Luckily, there's reference. The trigger's too long. It's he weird. has very slim appendages. Yes, agreed. And, like, he's got these great sculpted hands with these crazy long fingers with pointy fingernails. Stop trying to put that one in his hand. No, I like this one. Oh, you got it. We'll assume that that's how he holds his race stick. That's how he holds our race stick. Everything about this is awesome. The colors, I mean, again, yeah, if you see the original cards, they're very vibrant. Look at the like head inside with the neck, the way it's all sculpted in there. It looks really cool. It looks like one of those um, visible body yeah. things, but obviously it's an alien. Like all that lower brain color, like everything's painted all nice in there inside the little head. Oh, look, it's all articulated too. Oh. It's actually really creepy. That's a really cool figure. I like it. I like it a lot. Like you said, you can find these for around 20 bucks online. Probably other prices at other stores. So your articulation's kind of weird. Did looking. you get this online or did you get this at. Uh, this was. It's related to the show from uh -huh. 3D Retro. Ah, thank you, 3D Retro. Beautiful. His articulation is kind of worthless. Just stand him like that. Like that. What else are you going to do with him? You I can't mean, get in that pose. Like, that's just not a possibility. I bet if you work at it, he could. I don't have that kind of time. They probably photoshopped out the stand that's holding him up right here. Product and decoration may vary. This is cool. I like this. I don't have a lot else to say about it, but if you're a fan of that style or Aliens or the movie, you'll like this. It's cool. And it's a six-inch figure. They had other figures before, like 13-inch, I think. Uh, th yeah, figures inch, did 13 come out inch. for this stuff in the past, and they were big and cool. There were small ones, too, I think, when the movie came a, out. A newer, when the movie yeah. line came out, there was stuff. An old wave of small ones, but... Cool. Mars is Attacks, pick them up. Question, do you know if this is the only one of these from Mars Attacks? I have no so idea. Hmm. I bet we could go to facebook.com slash Mars Attacks. Who wants to do research? Not research. I. Not it. Damn it. Ha. Huh. Super <laughs> Juicy? It's up to you. <laughs> oh, crap. Super Juicy's in charge of the show again. That's when it all goes to hell. All right, well, that is it for reviews. Let's on to events. Of course, the most amazing and pressing and vital and interesting thing coming up in the next few weeks is Day with Toy Break. Did I, did I build it up too much? I thought it was going to be the end of the Rivet Wars campaign on Kickstarter. Oh, that too. But that's already made its money, so we don't need to promote it anymore. Yeah, we do. Keep going. Make more okay, because then them. we get more figures in it. 
Tell if you them. haven't jumped on board yet, get on the Rivet Wars Kickstarter. Go to Kickstarter, type in Rivet Wars, and support it. Um, yeah, it's based on that art back there. And the higher it gets, the more figures you get for buying into the game. So it's pretty awesome. Like, the money... The charge for the game doesn't go up. You still pay, it's like 150 but bucks. But if they make more money, you get, game, you get more stuff. But as their level goes up, they add more into that game that you get for $150. So it started out with like goals. a little bit of stuff that you get for 150 and now it's just like a pile of stuff that you get for 150 So And 150 might sound like a lot, but you're getting a full-fledged board game. And I know from playing Zombicide, it's a legit, like, awesome system of gameplay. So if it, And you're getting like 40 like figures that. or something like that. That's the thing, is you're getting this custom game and all these amazing figures yeah so it's pretty awesome go support it even if you don't pick the 150 dollar level yeah, maybe you want levels. there's a little rambo dude you can get it's like 20 bucks or 15 bucks you get a couple of figures for that so oh, go good. check them out it's awesome nice all right back to day with toy break back to day with toy break we will be broadcasting live for 24 hours with guests exclusives and goodies for both sale and auction to raise funds for toy break from 5 p.m february 8th to 5 p.m february 9th pacific standard time toybreak.com Really, like, the time doesn't really matter. Like, at some point right. in that 24 hours, where you are, you can watch it. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, you, there's going to be, even if you're on for 10 minutes before you go to work one day or when you Pop get home from work. Hi. Yeah, just come on in, say hello, because there'll be a chat running. Um, just come in and say hello on the chat. Maybe you can Skype in if you feel like it from wherever you're at. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff going. So come we'll on in, we'll say hello. That out. So with the Skyping, sometimes I feel like people Skype in, which is awesome, and we love talking to you, but I feel like they may get neglected with the craziness of everybody being in the studio. Well, that's their own hurt feelings then. Don't don't feel neglected. Okay. And Skype if in for Skype a minute. If you Skype in, just don't feel neglected, Don't please. Don't expect to stay on for hours. Come in, talk for a second, say hello. Maybe that's and the then situation is we need hang to up. have like a five to ten minute. Yeah. Like. Come in, Skype for five minutes, and then go. Yeah, because, like, if, if you hang out, we love that you want to hang out. But if you do hang out, like, more people are coming over. We've got things going on. Hopefully. Food and bathroom. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe we're sitting here by ourselves. So join us, Day with Toy Break, February 8th and 9th. Yay! Day with Toy Break. Also in February, actually on February 9th. Uh-huh. Uh, the Toy Apocalypse 3. Maybe you could Skype in from this and Ooh. show us the show. That would be amazing. Uh, Toy Apocalypse 3, beginning February 9th. It's the third Toy Apocalypse show by the Four Horsemen. The third by the four. Uh, will feature artwork and customs based on Power Lords at Toy Tokyo Underground in New York, New York. Fourhorsemen.biz for more. Could people FaceTime with you? Yeah, sure. What do people need to FaceTime with you? I think an iPhone is all you need. No, but I mean, they, do they need like your email address or something? I have no like, idea. We'll figure that out that by works. February 9th. Hey. You, you can at least Skype with us, because you can Skype from any device, I think. I think so. Okay, great. Excellent. And that's it. Someone should go to the Toy Tokyo Underground thing, <clears throat> the Hors Horseman's Toy Apocalypse, whatever it was called, mm -hmm. and call in with, from the show and show off the show. Be that would be so freaking cool. Why don't the Horsemen call in from well, the Well, because I think they're going to be busy talking no, to No, they're people. not. They're going to be having snacks and wandering around. Corn boy. <laughs> Skype in from the show on february 9th and show off the show across the world who's gonna go that we know that we could get to skype in i don't know somebody smack does he have, he has a phone right like a good, <laughs> everybody has phone? a phone somebody right everybody's phone does that somebody right? make this happen it's gonna be awesome all right that's it wrap this up <laughs> don't forget you can save money with Toy Break coupons online, check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details, as well as links to everything we talk about in the show. All these fine products. You can also watch past episodes, join the contests, They're and not so fine. oh, and discussions in the forum. You can check out the goodies page for some fun freebies like Toy Break paper toys. There's three different versions. There's one by Alexander Gwynn, one by Zucane, and one by Castlefort. Thank you so much to each of them. True. Also, don't forget you can help support Toy Break. We love your donations. Totally appreciated. You can also just go love to... donations. Ow. That's what you get. That's what you get for making fun of me. You get pinched by a turtle. A crappy turtle toy. You could also go to toybreak.com, click the Amazon link, and just do your Amazon shopping as normal, and then we get a little percentage back from that, and it is super helpful and awesome, and we really appreciate everybody who has taken the time to go ahead and click through Toy Break Amazon link to do your regular shopping. 
You can also call and leave us a voicemail at 818 I good. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, full episodes, and episodes of Toy Girls all over at youtube.com slash toybreak. Actually, there is one thing you can't get at youtube.com slash toybreak. What's that? Outtakes. Boom. We don't usually put outtakes on the YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe in iTunes or check toybreak.com. If you see that we haven't put one up on YouTube one week, uh, every couple of months we do a brief outtakes episode. So So if you want to see some hilarity, and believe me... And they're usually not safe for work. There's usually some cussing. They're not funny. Maybe some racism. I can't guarantee what may or may not be in there, but it's in there. And, of course, don't forget you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. I'm at George Gaspar. And now... Here is a special guest toy break. It's a look at part of Scruffy Nerf Herder's collection. Thank you.